Here I've got my incremented family, it's sort of a generic tower that's made up of a hundred pieces of a little slab. You can see if you click on them, uh, they're incremented from 0 to 99. You can see this parameter right here. And if I started incrementing it up, you can see this piece move up and down. I'm going to move that back down to 99. Down here we've got one that's incremented at 1, and the one below it is at 0. And there's a couple ways that you can use this family. You can just select this family and you can edit it. And then when you open it up, you'll have this family in here. You can sort of inspect what this guy does. Uh, same as I was showing over in its host. If I change this increment parameter, you can see this guy moves up and down. Uh, there's a couple parameters that move up and down along with that increment. And again, you can go back and check the parametric patterns uh, blogs about more about incrementing and how that works. So you can open this thing up and you can just, you know, basically take this as your template and design your own family. I'll do a quick one. So if I'm uh, just drawing a reference line on level one, I'll just do a quick spiral. I'm going to dimension it like that. And I'll draw a model line on top of this guy right here like that. And I'm going to give a couple of parameters here. I'll label this as an angle, give it an instance parameter because it's going to be affected by that integer. And I'll select this one and I'll make that a length parameter, also going to be affected by the integer. And I'm just going to hook that up to my integer value. Now I've got a bunch of parameters in here because these are sort of driving what my old geometry was. I'm going to remove thickness because I'm not using it anymore. And I'm going to remove height because I'm not using it anymore. And I'm just going to hook up angle, angle and length to be driven by my increment parameter. So I'll go, I'm going to copy this one out because I need the little degree thingy. So let's say I want to change it by nine degrees for every time I increment. So that's going to be times increment. So, so you've got 45 degrees after nine increment, uh, after five increments, which is five times nine. And here I've got a length, which is going to be, uh, let's call it 10 feet for every increment. And I'm going to show you there's going to be a problem with this because I have an increment called zero. Uh, back in the family, and that's going to try and zero out this length, which is going to have a problem with it. I'm just going to show you what that looks like. But for now, it all looks like it's fine. So if I go and I start moving around my increment, say I move it to 8, we can see everything pivot and get longer. So I know it's basically working. Now if I load it into a project, I'm going to over it. You can actually do either one of these. It doesn't really matter. And it's going to go and it's going to percolate through all uh, 100 instances of this thing and go BAM. But it's going to say delete type. And why is it going to delete type? Because I've got one in here that is too short. So if I select that one, you can see, let's see. Well, anyway, one of these guys turned into a zero at that zero increment and basically got deleted. So if I select all these things, I'll have 99 rather than 100, which is fine, whatever. So the other way that you can use this thing is um, I'm going to close out of this basically a template file. And I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a pre-existing family that I had. So here's one that's a little bit more complicated that I spent some time working on. It just has a different name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it increment fam which is the same name as this guy over here and I'm going to open it up you can see here I've got you know something I've spent some more time on I've already pre-baked this thing um, it makes a completely different form if I go in here um, you can see I've got a bazillion little parameters in here and funny formulas and all the rest but the important one is I have increment which is that one stepping through parameter that's going to make all the difference in the world when this thing gets loaded into a family. So if I increment that back down, 
you can see it moves the sky along and it changes its shape. And I'll include all of these in the download so you can actually play around with some other shapes. So now this guy has been renamed to be increment fam, which is I'm going to tab over to this family, the same name as this family here. So if I reload it, it's going to overwrite. We can just do that right now. And so again, overwrite the existing, it doesn't really matter. It's going to pick up on that increment value of 0 to 99, which is actually probably now 1 to 99 because it blew out that one increment. So I can load back in later. I can add it manually. It doesn't really matter. And it's going to think about it for a minute. And we'll let it do its thing. And here it comes. Shazam. And there's another one in here that's probably been made invalid. But let's see how well it did. Because sometimes with these formulas you get values that come into you know division by zero or weird negative numbers for dimensions and it doesn't really work out. So let's take a look at what we got. So here we've got a completely different kind of form but again just based on our incremented values from zero or thereabouts to 99. So see this first one is a one because I blew out my zero earlier on now if I made this one zero now, it would be fine. Oh, there it is. And I think I lost one else also over here. This is probably 98. Yeah, because it gets so thin over here that it disappears. So, you know, you find that your formulas have some weird problems and that sort of thing. But um, with this family that already has 100 placements, you can start actually getting some pretty fine-grained forms. And then, of course, you can go back in and do stuff like we go into wireframe here and I'll add a point, something like that. And so I can start adding in more geometry. If I take that guy, I'm going to just make a little sort of mullion-y kind of thing here. If I select that and then select the edge of my form, like so. Create the form, load it back into the project, and then I'll get a mullion that goes sweeping all the way across here after it regenerates. And let's see, there we go. We've got it right here. So now I've got my little mullion-y piece that sweeps all the way along. And you can go in and you can start adding more geometry and making things more building-like or less building-like, whatever you like to do. Anyway, I hope that that was useful, and I'm also going to do a video about how to use a script to create all these pieces on the fly.